Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. The next few videos will all be about automating with a mouse. If you have a controller, good for you. I got one, but sometimes I just don't have space on my desk. If I'm doing a quick job, I'm usually just using my mouse. So the key to automating with a mouse is using mouse modifiers. And mouse modifiers are a combination of four keys that when you hold them, as you click or drag your mouse, they will change the functionality of your mouse. This is an envelope lane. Press shift anywhere and create a new envelope point. I can also press shift and put it anywhere. I can, for example, go here. I can go above and it'll put a point here. If I want to delete any point, I just hold alt and that's gone. You can also use command to draw freehand. It's not very precise, but it's very quick. Another thing you can do with command is just simply clicking anywhere and it will insert one envelope point in that location. So the difference between shift clicking and command clicking is this. If I shift click, so if I put it here until the next point, wherever it is, it will create a line. Whereas if I command and click, it will just put one there. So we can do different things with different mouse modifiers in different contexts. And I highly recommend you customize your mouse modifiers. The defaults are fine. The defaults work and I usually don't change them, but there's a lot of hidden functionality that aren't by default assigned to any modifiers, but you can quickly access them. So you press command and comma preferences to mouse modifiers. Where we want to be right now is envelope points. And let's look at left drag. Now, when there's no left, Left click option that means that left click essentially does the same stuff as left drag right another cool thing you can do is at the beginning when you're learning mouse modifiers and you're trying to memorize them you can click this little button here and now this menu will be pinned up here so we'll just have access to this um, the whole time and I can kind of use it as my little cheat sheet default action means no modifiers that moves the envelope point now my movement is limited to the bounds of the previous and the next envelope points if you want to change that this is the command prevent mouse edits of single envelope points from moving past other envelope points this is nice for me because it creates a safety measure for me if I'm working on an automation on a really large project I can just insert points at times where I don't want to go back and fuck something up by mistake so I have that turned on if you if I turn this off now I can move this envelope point and it will just get rid of the next envelope point a matter of preference I like to have this option turned on so that at any point, the most amount of automation I can fuck up is that between two points. So let's go back to our cheat sheet. I can move an envelope point, but you can see that it moves with the grid. If I hold shift, it basically doesn't snap to any grid. If I hold command, as we said, you just draw. Shift and command, that's for moving envelope on one axis only. So if I grab an envelope when I'm pressing command and shift, so basically this looks at the first movement you did was the first movement you did upwards or sideways, it will lock your movement to that axis. This is cool, but not super reliable sometimes. Now I like these two things that aren't by default assigned to anything. Command option moves envelope point horizontally. Command and control moves items vertically. So if I hold command and option, I can move it left and right as much as I want, not up and down. I can also choose a group. I can move them up and down, but I can like move them back a little bit if I want. And then command and control, now that moves it up and down but not left and right. And I got control to copy envelope point and I got shift command and option to copy envelope point ignoring snap. So I'll show you the use of that. So right now you can see that there, between this line and this line, there's like a straight curve. Now, if I hold control and drag from that point, it's not dragging that point. It's making a copy of that point and then dragging it. When I do this, you can also see that I can move up and down. This is for places where you want a straight curve. You want to do some precision work. You want to make sure that the value isn't changing between two points. So I got minus 16.1 here. So I can control and click on it. And as I'm dragging, it's making a copy of this point and it's not changing the value. So that's a way of straightening lines that are curved. And the shift command option one does the same thing just without snap. So those are all the things for left drag. So I suggest using this in a real life application, maybe try to do it to vocal automation. So basically that's all you gotta do. Like you use this as your cheat sheet and you just do some work. And basically these are just what you can do with envelope points. And that's only by left dragging. There's also a bunch of stuff you can do by double clicking them. So this one is really useful. For example, uh, open envelope point editor, right? So I have this envelope point, it's at minus 14.8. But if I wanna make it 15, 
1.1, you see that my resolution is not enough. It's going down in minus 2 dB increments. Command and double click it. And here I can type in any value I want. Let's go 15.1. And now this point is at 15.1. There's also reset point to default value. The default value is whatever you can see here. So that's just envelope points. After that, we're just going to keep moving on. We're going to do envelope segment, envelope lanes, and then automation items. Whenever you're in any modifier menu, you know, just double click on it. See what else is there, right? Of course, you can add anything you want to this as well. So that's pretty nice. For example, if I create a point here, I can shift double click it. And that's the x frame add points before and after selected points. Shift double click them and then maybe add the next point in time three seconds later and the previous one five seconds later. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, we're going to look at all the things you can do with envelope segments. You know, in the meantime, we'll throw in some custom actions and some things like that. At one point, I'll probably show you my um, automation toolbar, which is really nice for me when I'm mixing things. MIDI controllers are cool, but honestly, I've not ever been comfortable with anything more than a mouse and keyboard. These two are probably the tools I use the most in my entire lifetime. You know, I've been typing forever and clicking forever and gaming forever. So, you know, if you game, we do so many complex things in video games with just our mouse and keyboards. Those MIDI controllers are cool, but I assure you there's nothing you can't do with your mouse and keyboard. And I'm going to show you how in the next few episodes. I hope you like this. See you tomorrow. Bye.